Hello, YouTubers. This is Sableman Joe once again with Jag Sports Cards. Hey, finally got my 2023 Panini Phoenix football hobby box. Okay, uh, usually I get these early, but uh, delays in shipping and everything like that, and the fact that, hey, I just didn't get a chance to get over to my LCS, which is Massetti's Baseball Cards over in Fresno, California. Hey, if you're ever in the area, look them up. And uh, Matt had put this uh, away for me, for so I went by, grabbed it, and um, hey, he said he had a good feeling about this box, so let's see what we pull out of this. Okay, in this box... You are going to find two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. Also, you're getting 12 packs of uh, cards in this box plus five cards per pack. And you are looking for the ultra rare inserts such as in Fuego and genies which i've already seen one genies pulled that was actually really cool and um my favorite what i'm chasing is phoenician the if you haven't seen the phoenician cards those are really nice cards man <coughs> i'm sorry but um yeah that is and in addition to chasing the guy that I'm chasing, Puka Nakua, um, I'll be looking for that Phoenix. I have not pulled a Phoenix. In fact, I have not pulled a case hit from Phoenix before. So hopefully, man, hopefully we can. All right. Hey, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open these up. Now, if you watched my videos, you know Phoenix is my absolute favorite product out right now. And... Um, it totally miffs me that it's not sold out on the website at Panini yet. Uh, but yet, uh, Absolute sold out at 720 bucks. But yet, I don't know, this is, this is gonna burn you about, on the website it's at $400, but with shipping and everything, it's gonna run you about 420, 430 around that area. So probably a little bit more on um, eBay or on the secondary market. So, but that's roughly what it's gonna get you. So, in today's market, I think it's a little high for Phoenix. Uh, I think Phoenix should be around 350, but I think all the Chromium products should be around that area, that 350, that 380 mark. Uh, all except for Optic. Optic should be 180 bucks, man. <laughs> but hey, back in my day. Okay, hey, if you have not seen the design on the Phoenix, there you go. Like I said, I think it's, I, I love it. I love Phoenix. I love the color to it. You're going to get all the same kind of color variations that you're going to get in a in a um, prism product and optic. Okay, we got our first hit right there. So we're going to go ahead and cover that up right there. And we've got a, what is that? Is that, that's not a color burst, but that's a silver? Oh, no, no. I, yeah. Or teal. Teal. Yes, it's a teal right there with the teal. This is a teal parallel of Tyreek Stevenson, and this one is 133 of 150. Also, we're looking for the, I want to say their special photo uh, variations that'll have the SP on the top corners right there. We'll sleeve that up a little bit later on. And we have a Zay Jones right there. These are actually really nice. I, I The contours, actually a really nice little product right there. And... If you kind of snuck a peek of it, let's go ahead and turn that around. Oh, we got a Jalen, Jalen Carter. Nice. All right. Rookie card. Hey, we're going to get a rookie patch card. Might as well be that one. And it's a color variation purple. That one is 45 of 75. Okay. So there's our mem card out of the way. Well, we also got a numbered mem card, which is really cool. All right. Nice. All right. And Jalen Carter is actually really Really nice, really nice. Now, I don't think he's as good, or, I, you know, I can't say good. Um, they're different. But Kobe Turner for the Rams had just as an impressive year as Jalen Carter did. Okay, nice. There we go. So, hey, we got a teal and we got our mem memorabilia card. That was a, that's a purple variation in one pack. Nice. Nice start to it. Nice start. But, uh, hey, I, I gotta, I gotta stick up for my Rams, man. I gotta, you know, Kobe Turner, Puka Nakua. Hey, that's, those guys should be the rookies of the year, offense and defense. 
my opinion. You know, so hey, we got a Kyler Murray. And I do not believe that one is numbered. And got a hot routes. And we got our second hit right behind that as well, which is going to be an auto. And oh, it's going to be a Merton Hanks. Oh, no kidding. Merton Hanks. Wow, that's a nice, that's a nice signature, man. Gridiron greats. Now, I think what's happening is Panini is starting to clear the warehouse, if you will. I, this is probably something that would come out of Donruss and it gets included into a, a Phoenix or a Prism product. A lot of you'll see lately, which, hey, man, I'm happy with the Merton Hanks. That's cool with me, especially in my area. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I got a friend of mine that's going to like that one. You know, he's going to like that one a lot. Nice. All right. Well, okay, there's our there's our second hit, which is going to be our first auto. So, there we go. And we got a Merton Hanks. And here we go. This is a first one of our... And see, I don't know if it's the silver... Parallel? Maybe it's a silver parallel. Maybe that's what the SP in the back stands for. I know that a lot of people were short print or what have you, but I have noticed that the SP, maybe it is a silver parallel. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. My guess, my guess. All right, hey, well, there we go. Two hits out of the way and we've got one left. So, like I said, Puka Nakua, man, that'd, that'd be nice to get one. In a Puka Nuku, uh, in a Phoenix. Like I said, especially the fact that I think the background cards that we have there, I pulled all three of these. I think if you can watch the videos, I pulled these three and I think I ordered that one. I think I bought that one, but all three of those I pulled. So it's actually really nice. There we go. We got our third hit right off the bat. Look at that. The first three packs right off the bat. Here we go. We've got Christian Kirk pink which is going to be, that's going to be 81 of 175. And there's a pink parallel right there with a Christian Kirk. And Stefan Diggs, Connor, Riley Moss. And we got a CD Lamb. Oh, no. <laughs> Blank. Oh, that was nice. Okay. There we go. Now see, that's a silver parallel, that's a silver as well. So is it not marked SP? There goes my theory of the silver silver parallel, right? Huh. Uh-huh. Well, hey, let's keep digging. Let's find out. There you go, Micah Parsons, Derek Henry, Michael Wilson, and we have an orange parallel. Oh, T. Higgins, that's nice, man. And right behind them. Speaking up with the Cincinnati theme right there. There we go. With the Joe Burrow. And we got a hot routes, which is color matched. It's that orange parallel. And it's 76 of 99. That's cool. That's nice. I got a, you know what? I've got a couple of nice T. Higgins cards that we've pulled in the last couple of years. Um, even in that prism, no huddle. Got a nice little, I want to say an, an image variation of T. Higgins. That's cool. That's an image, or, you know, a nice one. Uh-huh. Here we go. Let's keep digging. Now, I'm filming this before the Super Bowl, which, okay, the 49ers versus um, the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. All right. Okay. You know, a matchup we've seen it before in the last couple of years. There we go. We got Darius Davis, which is this is going to be in a bronze, I think, is what it what it is. Bronze. Oh no, orange. 99, 18 of 99. There we go. We'll put that off on the side right there. And our fired up is Will Anderson Jr. Wrong Houston Texan. Right there. But I I don't know. I um I I'm pulling for Kansas City. Again, I'm not a I'm a I'm a Ram fan. I'm not gonna pull for the Niners, man. I I'm not gonna lie. I, I I hate you know. I'm not gonna say you know. But hey, here we go. Got a fired up of Bryce Young right there. And I don't think that one's numbered. No, that one is not numbered. Put that one on the side. And 
Oh, we got a cracked ice. Got a cracked? Yeah, cracked ice of Geno Smith. And this, I think it's 75. No, 35. Okay, we've got Geno at 35. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, so far, so far, nothing huge out of this box. But, hey, we still got a couple packs left. Now, like I said, I, I think these cards are really nice looking. They're really nice looking cards. I like Phoenix. I'm very surprised that it hasn't, that I guess the hobby has slept on it, I guess is what you want to say. <laughs> but, again, it, it kind of missed me with um, Absolute. Absolute's never been one of the higher quality products, and that sold out. And I think the, the chase for the Kaboom is what kind of fuels that there. So, there you go. Rushy Rice. Got a rookie card. That's a nice one. Ah, we got an Aiden O'Connell. And we got a blank. But there we go. That's our, I, I think that's our color burst. If you can kind of see in the background the burst in the back there. And I don't believe that one's numbered, but good. All right, cool. Nice. Another Raiders. Another Raiders. If you've noticed, if you've watched the last couple of videos, that's what we've gotten lately. There we go. Got a kind of color match on a Saquon Barkley. Nice. And this one is to 75 with the SP on it as well. Okay. All right. Put that on the side. And we got a T Higgins. We got a regular hot routes of T Higgins. Uh-huh. Is she rise there? Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Like I said, I'm kind of really, I kind of figured this is what's going to be happening with a lot of the Panini products lately that you're going to get a lot of, I, like I call it warehouse clearing. So I think they're taking a lot of the autographs that were meant for other series or other, um, other card sets and kind of put into autographs into such products like Phoenix, anything that was meant for a Donruss or anything like that. There we go. We got a Baker we'll throwback. So again, that might explain a lot of seeing a lot of like the Merton Hanks, the Rod Smith. If you watched an earlier video of uh, the Donruss, in fact, we ended up pulling a Super Bowl card of um, Rod Smith. You know, there we go. We got a Jervin, a Gervin, Jervin Dexter Senior. And this one is not numbered. But that is a silver hollow. And we got a lava of Bree, Brees Hall. I love these cards. I love. Look at that. Those are awesome looking cards. The lava parallels. Those are nice. Those are really nice, man. 131 of 150. You know, I think they're nice looking. That is a cool design on the lava. I'm kind of surprised they're. As many as there are. What are they, what, one, 150 was the print run on it right now? We'll check right now. But, yeah, 150? Yeah. To me, that surprises me because that, that's this is a hot card, dude. This is nice. This is actually a really nice-looking card. Yeah. So that surprises me that they're printed that much, 150. There we go. We've got a Hot Routes with Tyreek Hill. Uh-huh. Now three packs left. And let's see. Let's see. Points. Redemption, um, do we get an RPA, do we get another autograph, but uh, let's see, let's see what ends up happening, all right, here, let's see, here you go, Deontay Johnson, Kalijah Cansey, Kenneth Walker, K9, that's a silver, oh, we got a teal, Josh Allen, nice, this is out of 150, all right, Let's see. And, you know, <laughs> Buffalo, man. Um, I don't think Josh Allen's going to win a Super Bowl with Buffalo. I, I I hate with all my Bills Mafia people, but, yeah, man, that, that's that's a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. There we go. And we finish up with a Geno Contours. Those are pretty nice looking cards. Those are, those are pretty nice. Those aren't bad. Okay. You know what? I think that might be an RPA. So we'll check that one out last. How's that? 
So pretty, pretty much looks like a basic box, what you're going to get. So let's see, unless something spectacular kind of hits us right now. You go DTR. And got another silver hollow or a yellow gold. Oh, no. Oh, nice. This would be a gold. Okay. So we, so we have a gold of Darnell Washington, um, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this one is 10 out of 10. All right. Okay. All right. You know, hey, if you've watched a lot of our videos, man, you've noticed, you've seen or noticed that a lot of our serial numbered cards like this, we've gotten a lot of bookend, um, 10 out of 10, 25 out of 25, um, one of 10, um, one of 99, things like that. Hey, there we go. We got a 10 out of 10 on that one. Uh huh. Nice. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, this should be our last hit. Like I said, it does feel thicker. So I'm really surprised there was only one filler card. Let's see if this isn't a filler card. How's that? Okay. So let's get to the parallel on the back. And we've got a Sean Clifford pink parallel. And we've got a Patrick Mahomes playing with fire. That is not numbered. And we got a Rashad Wright. White. Oh, there we go. Aaron Donald got one PC card for myself. Nice. Okay. And finish up with a rookie card of Zay Flowers and our RPA or our. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We got shorted an autograph in our, um, in our Phoenix box, man. You know what, Matt? There was some, you felt something weird about that one. That's what happened. That is the only, look, we got shorted an autograph. So we got one with the Merton Hanks and we've got a patch card of Jalen Carter. So we ended up getting shorted an autograph. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Hey, okay. That's the second time that's happened to us where we've been shorted an autograph. So I don't, did you see anything else there? Yeah. Nothing else that I could say. No. Huh. Wow. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to file another claim with Panini, just like I did with the, I think it was score. It was a Zay Flowers autograph that we should have had, but um, didn't come with an autograph. Wow. Okay. So, well, hey. That's if, if you've kind of paid attention to what's going on with the card industry right now with Panini, that's kind of what's going on. Um, a lot of missing product, a lot of, uh, uh, redemptions, points, um, autographs from other sets, kind of a deal. So, hey, try, uh, determine for yourself what do you want to do from this point on uh it seems to me retail has been really really good to us and hobby hasn't been too great now i don't know if they're starting to send to breakers and less hobby shops but it seems to me that way um hey uh if you can hey get yourself a box i think we're gonna have to give this one a little bit of uh, disappointment all right. I think so. Now, the Merton Hanks isn't bad or what have you, but the Jalen Carter and everything and the missing autograph is kind of a bummer. But other than that, like I said, I love the look of the cards. I love Phoenix, the actual look of the cards. Now, everything that kind of played out didn't work so well for us. But hey, here we go. That's what happens. So like I said, we'll go to Panini and we'll see if what they can do for us. All right. Hopefully, hey, man, hopefully we can turn that into a black box like over at the National. All right. All right. Hey, man, thank you very much for the view. This is Sable Man and one, uh, Sable Man and Joe once again. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a little disappointed on that video. We're going to we'll have to say that was a disappointing video. But uh, hey, if you like the content, hey, subscribe. Now, like I said, we'll probably have to see what we get in our next um, video which will have some absolute coming up as well. Plus, I will be announcing a giveaway as well. Okay? All right, hey, so uh, stay tuned. What's going on? And thank you again once uh, for the view. And, hey, we'll see everybody next time, and everybody be safe out there. All right.